Now, new tonight, fighting back. It's a calling for members of the Hampton NAACP in light of the growing Second Amendment sanctuary movement. Uh, they helped pack Hampton City Hall tonight, where both sides debated the hot button issue. And 10 on your side's Brett Hall was there too and lets us know if they took any action. Hampton City Council took no action this evening, partly because there was nothing Second Amendment related on the agenda, and also Mayor Donnie Tuck says he feels it's premature to do anything. Nonetheless, this was the largest crowd of opposition to a Second Amendment sanctuary city that I have seen since covering these. Certainly made for some interesting discussion outside of council chambers. Just as in other cities, the line to get in started forming long before meeting time, but unlike those other cities, Sanctuary City does not exist. Yellow stickers that read, background checks save lives, mixed with a sea of orange ones. A mixture that at times we were curious we were curious about how we felt about gun violence prevention was not as bitter as you may think meet Christine Payne and Angela Welters I am for sensible gun laws I'm, how about yourself? I'm second amendment they each have their own reasons for their beliefs looking for some evidence-based new laws that are going to increase our public safety and reduce the over 1,000 gun deaths a year that we have currently I have a firearm yeah, and I use it for recreation. I go out and I shoot, and I have a really good day at the range. Uh, it's a stress reducer. It's a good activity. Build a skill. Each says she now has a better idea of where the other is coming from. I don't have a problem with that. So while there will be no action from Hampton City Council, both now consider tonight a success. Common ground comes from an ability to sit and talk civilly with each other. Gosh knows it's a lesson we all need. Talk about where you're coming from and see where you can sort of meet up and what makes sense and understand where they're coming from so that you can better have discussions about where we should be going. Both sides plan to go to Richmond as the debate carries into the new year. And with the conclusion of tonight's meeting, most councils are on break until the new year. It remains to be seen if any of them will reconsider then. Reporting at Hampton City Hall, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.